For the past week or so, I've been doing the experiment at a, a, a synchrotron. The details I'll come back to later, because eventually this will get published in the literature somewhere. But what I want to focus on for this video is just the weird stuff that liquid ammonia does in a vacuum chamber. So let me just tell you a little bit about ammonia. It's a really horrible smelling gas that liquefies at about minus 30 degrees Celsius to make a, a really horrible liquid to work with. Yeah, why work with it? Yeah, well, it turns out it's actually quite interesting chemically because of its similarities to water and that it's a very strongly hydrogen bonded liquid. And it freezes at about minus 70 degrees Celsius. So what you're gonna see here is we wanna study liquid ammonia, but we can't have any air around in it. So we gotta spray the liquid ammonia into a vacuum chamber. And we do that with a microjet. So the microjet, when it goes into the vacuum chamber, it immediately starts to evaporate and to cool down. And there's a sort of little lag period before it actually freezes. So this is some of the weird stuff that liquid ammonia does in a vacuum chamber. What you're seeing here is as the ammonia cools down, by the time it gets to the metal bit, it, it's blown around a bit, and it starts freezing in just one little location. And of course, once it's frozen, it's really quite cold, so the evaporation rate from the surface drops right down and the cooling rate drops right down. The bottom line being is that solid ammonia is actually quite stable in a vacuum chamber. And what you see here is it just builds up uh, from where the spray is always hitting in the same place. And you get this stalagmite that just grows up and up and up until boom. Now it's cooled down the metal it sat on quite a lot, but it, metal can still conduct heat. So eventually it just wins and don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. And <laughs> boom. Another thing that you would get is occasionally you get some weird nucleation centers with details of which we really don't understand. And the bottom line is the, the nozzle starts machine gunning little frozen snowballs of solid ammonia. And those little pieces of solid ammonia last really quite a long time in a vacuum chamber, even though they're at about minus 70 degrees Celsius. But, you know, every now and again, they sort of touch the hot metal and you, they, they're sort of levitated by the gas generation. Eh, just kind of cute to watch. 